Hi, Scorpio. So I'm gonna do another one of these um, as a general read, but this one right here that I'm doing for the 12 months will be, that's for 2023, uh, will be for love, okay? And I am using the um, beautiful creatures for this, okay? So if you are a Scorpio sun, then this message will be for you. All right, and we're going to look at all 12 months for um, for the new year coming up when it comes to love. All right, all right. So the overall year, I'm going to look at the bottom of the deck right now. The overall year is a three of wands. So spirit is telling me to say to you, Scorpio, be very patient if you are single or if you are in a relationship. Do not rush into anything. Now, spirit is also saying if you are enjoying your partner, um, the relationship that you are in right now, do not rush your partner into doing anything that they are not ready to do. Okay. Um, just stay put if you are enjoying your partner. This three of wands also speaks on patience. It speaks on your ship coming in as well. So Spirit said, if you don't find anyone this year, we have not forgotten about you. That's basically the message. And this is for 2023. Okay. Don't rush into a marriage. Don't rush into a commitment. You don't have to. All right. Now, for January, you guys are receiving the transformation card, which is Scorpio's card. All right, Scorpio. So more like loving on you. And if you listen to the other message that I let out today, the one I let out before this one, then you heard me say that right now Scorpio is on a path or a journey of their own and they're putting themselves first and loving themselves first. So so you could meet someone in January that is another Scorpio, but it's it feels like you are more into you, changing you, taking some time out for you type of energy. That's what this feels like. It feels like you're going through um, transformation, going through changes, and you're taking time out for you. And if you happen to date someone, you date someone. If you don't like it, you don't like it. You don't make a big fuss over it. It's just a lesson learned and you keep it moving. That's what I'm getting for January from you um, with the transformation card, okay? So for February, you guys are receiving the Nine of Swords. So for you guys, um, anxiety, fear, worrying, self-sabotaging, could come into play in your love life, but I heard anxiety. Oh my gosh, I don't have anyone. Um, well, February would be the month of they consider love. People consider love with it being um, Valentine's uh, month. So you could be, you could feel anxiety. You could feel worrying um, going on there. Now, if that is what you what you find yourself going through when it turns um, when it comes to uh, February, let me say this: They told you in the very beginning that they want you to be patient and don't worry. So, don't worry, Scorpio. <laughs> you got this. Okay. So. For March, you guys are receiving the Two of Pentacles. So you will be juggling a relationship and a career in March. You will be juggling a relationship and a career come March. Okay? So find flexibility is what I'm hearing. flexibility and don't drop the relationship 
unless you feel like it's interfering with your work or you just don't want the relationship. That's what I'm hearing. And that is for March. April, you guys are receiving the Two of Cups. Somebody's going to make it official that they want you to be um, in a relationship with you. Some of you are going to meet your divine counterpart in April um, with this Two of Cups here. This person, Scorpio, will have layers to them um, because the way that I'm looking at this card, uh, I'm seeing that this person will have layers to them just like you, <laughs> just like you. So don't beat them up too much because they're not ready to reveal everything to you um, in the timely fashion that you would like for them to reveal it to them. I mean, to, to reveal it to you. And that's for April. In May, you guys have the world card completion. So you could be ending a situation. I'm hearing ending a divorce. They're saying ending a divorce. That means some of you are not going to go through with a divorce that you thought that you were going to go through with. I'm gonna let me take a drink. So what you thought you were going to go through with, you decide to, you change your mind. You decide to give something, I mean, a relationship, another chance is what I'm getting from this world card here, uh, Scorpio. So for um, July, I'm sorry, <laughs> for June, um, you guys are receiving the Queen of Pentacles. You could meet um, an earth sign or just someone that's really eager to get to know you. I also feel like it also feels like you go on some sort of vacation, um, Scorpio, and you meet someone. I'm also seeing some of you because the way they have this card depicted, um, you could get married. I'm going to show you this card. So that is Capricorn's energy. The way they have the card depicted, you guys could um, end up getting married. Just you and a few, you know, guests. Not a big wedding I'm seeing. All right. In June. In fact, they're pointing out June 7th. Um, I don't even know what date that is, you guys. But they're pointing out the 7th. So 7 is going to be very significant here. All right, so July, you guys are receiving the Two of Swords. If you're dealing with someone in July, great chance of them becoming a stalemate, confusing the heck out of you. I feel like you drop them right away once somebody, you know, stops communicating or behaving in a manner of that they, they don't want to have anything to do with you. Um, you don't stay put. I don't feel like you even have questions for it. You just keep it moving with um, that showing up there for July. August, you guys are receiving the Five of Cups. Okay, so August, you may be in some sort of regret, some sort of funk, asking yourself if you've made the right decision about a move um, that you made when it comes to a relationship or love. And from what I'm hearing, Spirit is saying, you're going to have to go through those emotions, those feelings that you have, okay? September, you guys are receiving <laughs> the Magician. Spirit said... Build a woman, build a man. This is the energy that you're going to be in um, come September. Well, all right, I guess I don't have anyone, so I'm going to start manifesting somebody. I'm going to build them. I'm going to ask the universe for what it is. Um, ask the universe for um, the person that I'm looking for. So that's the energy that you take on um, come, <laughs> come uh, September. I'm not mad at you. I just want you to remember what the universe said um, about the three of wands at the bottom of the deck, okay? And I don't think that they're mad at you either. They understand from what I'm seeing. They're not telling me to tell you no about this about this card. So your confidence is on an all-time high. Um, I also feel like be careful of manipulators. Be careful of people really wanting you to be in a commitment or a connection with them. So them trying to manipulate you into a relationship can definitely show up for you guys on in September. 
October, you guys are going to go down memory lane with someone from your past, possibly another Scorpio um, with the Six of Cups showing up here. I do feel like it could be somebody you met in this life, not in a past life, okay? And that's for October. November, you guys, woohoo! You have the Ace of Wands. You, if you're not careful, you are going to restore a relationship from your past, Scorpio. That's showing up in November. And from what I'm just from what they just showed me, this is an upgrade of this person. This person is showing some sort of um, leveling up. Okay? So they're coming back to show you um, who they are, who they are now. All right, so for December, you guys are receiving the Nine of Cups. See, when spirit told you they have your back, they have your back. You guys, this is a wish fulfillment. All you have to do is be very patient here. You started out with the transformation card, which is your card, and you're ending it with the nine of cups. I'm going to show you right now every single, um, every single card so that you can see for yourself. That's January, February, March. That's April. Here's May, June, July, and August. <sighs> September, October, November, and there's a Nine of Cups for December. Okay? So, like I was saying, um, the universe definitely was saying with the Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck, you have nothing to worry about. So I'm going to clarify July with the Two of Swords. So that's being clarified by the Ten of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, and the Emperor. This person that's being a stalemate, the reason why they are being a stalemate is because they were not being authentic with you. They definitely have someone else that they are married to. Yep, I cut the deck and I see the Hierophant. Okay, so that's the reason why this person is acting a bit shady. And I feel like that's the reason why you feel you need to keep it moving, keep it pushing, and you don't even question it. All right, so we're looking at May with the World card. Remember I told you you're ending a divorce? I'm saying it the correct way. So we're looking at May. I feel like you want to restore a situation. That's what's going to happen. So we're going to look at May. So that's being, see, oh my gosh, it's being clarified by the Ten of Cups and you have the Hierophant here at the bottom of the deck. I can't make this up, the Two of Wands and um, the, the Paranormal card, it says on the card Curiosity, but I feel like you felt or you get the energy of what will happen if I tried and I really gave it my all and we tried to commit back to this relationship and that's what you do. So you kept this in for a minute. You guys just needed a break from each other. Yeah, that's what I feel. The Hierophant with the Page of Wands, the Will of Fortune. You're going to feel the... Okay, this isn't going to be for every one of you. Not all of you are getting a divorce, okay? So it feels like to me that you kept this in as Scorpios do. And you don't really reveal it until you feel at least 99.999% certain that this is something that you would like to try again. And that's why you're going to say something to this person. And I feel like this person is going to be elated because that's the uh, word that they are giving to me. All right, let's look at this past person for October, November, and December. So... <laughs> Some of you already had the person that you are trying to build in your circle already. It's just that this person had to get their ish together. Okay, we're looking at the Six of Cups now. See who they can tell me this is for you. All right, here we go. Well, Scorpio, you brought it back to life. <laughs> All right, Four of Pentacles, definitely someone you held on to. That's Capricorn's energy, the Lover's card, that's Gemini's energy, and you have Eight of Swords. So you never really release this person from what I'm seeing here. Out of your thoughts, 
Some of you, this person never, you're going to find that this person never really released you either. Definitely can be a Gemini. Bottom of the deck is Cancer's energy, um, Libra's energy, and Scorpio's energy with the judgment, the Three of Swords, and the Chariot. So I feel like somebody tried to get away or tried to leave the situation. But you guys know that saying, once it's written in the stars, it's written in the stars. All right, we're clarifying November with the Ace of Wands and then December. And I'm going to let you guys go. And I'm going to do a general one after this. It'll be a third one that's in black screen, okay? Oh, my gosh. The Lovers card came out, you guys. Uh, the Four of Cups and the Empress. <laughs> oh, my I told you so when it's meant to be it's meant to be the Hierophant is here the Knight of Cups and the King of Pentacles so now you have the King and Queen of Pentacles out on the table here let me show you you guys I have a headache that's the reason why I don't have my light on there's the Queen here's the King there is sorry here's a lover's card I'm not trying to make any of you guys dizzy, but I do want to do a reading or a few readings today. But in order for me to do it, I cannot have the light on. So sorry about that, you guys. <clears throat> Hope I didn't flash you with my thighs. <laughs> with my thighs. But I definitely feel like you guys have an opportunity to restore a connection. Um, I don't think you saw this coming, but I think you realize, um, I think you realize it. Um, September. Yeah. <laughs> the very person you asking for was somebody that was already in your energy. All right, let's look at the Nine of Cups. So I'm just like showing you guys this so I don't have to. Um... Plus, I want you guys to see it. I know if it was me, I would want to see it. So that me being a Scorpio, I would want to see it. And I speak like one, two, I have Scorpio in my Mercury. So in my, the way I uh, interact. So, okay. So <laughs> Scorpio, let me tell you. The nine of cups is clarified by the five of swords, the ace of cups and the four of cups. So it seems the first message they gave me was, Someone not really releasing you, just like you not really releasing them. Um, even with offers coming in for them, they never really accepted it. Yeah, the chariot moving on, four of pentacles held on to you. Scorpio, you got to watch how you speak to this person, though. You have the emperor showing up here now. You had the empress showing up before, and now you have the emperor showing up here. So this person's going to feel a certain way being around you. And I also heard spirits say very protective. The second message that, that I received was you guys have someone that feels like you are their wish and they're not trying to let you go either. Even though you have your eyes on someone completely different. All right. All right. So this is your message for the year. That being said, I will not be doing one of these on Blue Tarot, you guys, unless I feel better, which I highly doubt because uh, that I would want to do one of these over there if I'm being straight with you. All right. All right, you guys. I love you guys. I will see you with a general one for the year with, um, I'm going to use the Tarot Grand Lux for um, general messages. And that can be for your life and career. I'm going to hope that they don't send no love because you got a love message here. Okay. I love you guys. Talk to you later.